Hi, the SI Meteorologist. Paul Dorian here on Tuesday, January 29th. Temperatures actually rose a little bit overnight here in the Mid-Atlantic region. Early last evening, they were hovering around the freezing mark with a little bit of uh, black ice in the area. Temperatures rose overnight. Pretty much all the uh, light cover of snow and ice melted overnight. And we start off with temperatures near 40 degrees in the Philadelphia suburbs this morning. And throughout much of the Mid-Atlantic region, it's 40 to 45 degrees this morning. And today will be a mild day with highs near 50 in many spots in the Mid-Atlantic region, although there will be plenty of clouds and uh, perhaps a touch of drizzle at times, but for the most part rain-free, although cloudy most of the day today. Tomorrow, on the other hand, will be even milder as a very strong cold front works its way towards the east coast. It looks like some heavy rain is in the offing for the entire Mid-Atlantic I-95 corridor late tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Anywhere from one to as much as three inches of rain as possible from this strong cold frontal system late tomorrow and tomorrow night. And there can be a couple of strong thunderstorms mixed in, some gusty winds. That'll turn the tide on the temperatures after reaching 60 plus degrees on Wednesday. We turn colder on Thursday and probably hold to not far from freezing on Friday and Saturday in much of the Mid-Atlantic region. Well, let's take a look at the latest surface map. Well, the warm front working its way through the area now, but this pretty much uh, the milder air has won out here. Yesterday, of course, the uh, Arctic air mass in place was stubborn to give up ground, and we had some snow, then sleet, and some freezing rain. Uh, but today, the temperatures are way above freezing, and again, we'll, we'll jump to near 50 degrees in many spots as this southwest flow starts to intensify, really get into the warmer air tomorrow as temperatures jump up to 60 degrees or so. Meanwhile, here are the, the beginnings of the strong cold front that will work its way towards the east coast during the day tomorrow. This will cause some severe weather today, especially a dangerous situation developing over the eastern uh, part of east, eastern and central Oklahoma into northeastern Texas and all the way into Arkansas and Missouri. They have a chance for some severe weather over the next uh, several hours all day today as this cold front starts to uh, move towards the east and again this will bring some heavy rain into the mid-atlantic region late in the day uh, tomorrow and tomorrow evening here's the current infrared satellite loop from the SSEC Wisconsin website lots of clouds out here with the development of that strong cold front some high uh, high clouds here associated with strong thunderstorms and again Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, Arkansas, Missouri under the gun today with the possibility of some severe weather and again there can be some thunderstorms moving into the mid-Atlantic region associated with this strong cold front late in the day tomorrow into tomorrow night. Some low clouds and fog in the uh, northeastern part of the country and again it will remain mostly cloudy here today. Fog will very likely redevelop tonight along with some light rain and drizzle and there will be lots of clouds around tomorrow as well but a gustier day with temperatures jumping up to 60 degrees before that cold front brings in the heavy rain late in the day. Meanwhile out west much colder air has moved into the Denver Colorado region overnight with some snow. There's some snow accumulations this morning that will wind down early but temperatures will hold in the low to mid 30s much colder than yesterday. Pretty nice along the west coast with highs near 60 in LA and some uh, sunshine and it looks pretty dry and sunny for the rest of the week out along the west coast. Here's the current U.S. radar map from weatherforyou.com and again here's that line of strong thunderstorms extending all the way from Missouri down into the north central part of Texas. There certainly can be some severe weather to, to worry about later on today across Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, even into northeastern Texas associated with that colder air plowing into the central part of the country and again this this will end up moving right across the eastern half of the country into the mid-Atlantic region by tomorrow night. Some snow on the back side here again snow falling right now in Denver a few inches in some uh, areas in and around the Denver Colorado region that snow will wind down this morning but that colder air is going to cause a severe weather outbreak over the next several hours across the heartland of the country. Well, let's kind of focus in on this strong cold frontal system that will plow its way through the mid-Atlantic region late tomorrow, tomorrow night. This is the forecast map from last night's Zero-Z GFS model run for tomorrow morning. 
Here's that band of heavy showers and thunderstorms by tomorrow morning out over the Ohio Valley. A screaming southwesterly flow of air here in the mid-Atlantic region. South-southwesterly winds gust up to 30 miles per hour easily during the morning and afternoon hours. It can be a shower or two during the morning and afternoon, but until the uh, this arrives, uh, it won't be much in the way of rainfall during the morning and early afternoon, but by late in the afternoon, these showers will start to mo move in, especially early part of tomorrow night. Rain will come down heavily at times, and there can be anywhere from one to as much as three inches of rain by uh, the end of uh, tomorrow night across the uh, I-95 car from D.C. all the way up to New York City, especially high amounts in northeastern PA and in and around the New York City region uh, on the order of two to three inches when all is sudden done. Here's the forecast map for tomorrow evening. By this time, the heavy rain is moving in or, or just on the doorstep of the I-95 car. Warm air has flooded all the way up into the uh, central part of New England here on the east side of this cold front. But much colder air is already moving in across the Great Lakes at this time. And again, heavy rain here, possible strong thunderstorms mixed in here in the mid-Atlantic region. Probably between like 4 p.m. and midnight is the time frame for this heavy rain event coming associated with the strong cold frontal system here in the mid-Atlantic region. Here's the forecast map for Thursday morning. By this time the front is off the coast and it's uh, gra gradually ending here. The colder air is starting to move in. Probably high temperatures on Thursday will occur in the morning hours, perhaps in the low 40s in many parts of the mid-Atlantic region. The temperatures may actually drop during the afternoon into the 30s and it looks like the hold in the low to mid 30s throughout much of the mid-Atlantic region on Friday and Saturday. Well one final map I'd like to jump ahead to Saturday evening this is perhaps the next chance of some snow maybe even a little bit of accumulation we'll have to watch this over the next few days a, a weak system but nonetheless a cold system with mostly if not completely in the form of snow Saturday night GFS is putting out a little low pressure area and there's a decent amount of moisture that is showing up on all the models now so this could be some kind of an accumulating snow event somewhere around Saturday night it certainly would be cold enough for snow so we'll monitor that over the next couple of days but in the immediate term the big news is this powerful cold front that will be sweeping towards the east coast tomorrow and causing heavy rain in the mid-Atlantic region late in the afternoon and especially tomorrow evening and we'll monitor that over the next several hours. That's it for now for the SIWeather.com. I'm the SI meteorologist, Paul Dorian.